From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Wendell Upwards. We're on top of several stories today on this Groundhog Day. A COVID vaccine for children just under the age of five may be right on the way here as early as next month. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones has all the details. Due to the Omicron variant, the rate of positive cases among children dramatically increased in December. It was during that time that many were asking when vaccines would become available for children six months to four years old, the age group that was previously omitted from the eligible pool. Late yesterday, Pfizer submitted a request to the FDA asking for emergency youth authorization to open up the eligibility for those under five. Currently, it is unclear how many shots kids would receive. The Pfizer application is for two doses, but a third could be added as more trial data is released. Getting two doses into a child can provide baseline immunity that protects them from severe disease, from hospitalization, and I think that may be why federal health officials are rethinking this. If, in fact, they decide to authorize this on the basis of two doses, it could be out much sooner, perhaps as early as early March. That was Marcy Jones reporting. So the latest COVID numbers from the state show the positivity rate is just above eight and a half percent. In the last day, though, there have been more than 1,200 new positive cases. Our state also passed a mark that many didn't want us to. More than 10,000 people have now died from COVID-related illnesses in the state. Officials say most of those deaths are people who were unvaccinated. According to Connecticut's official Groundhog, we are in for six more weeks of winter. Chuckles the 11th at the Lutz Children's Museum in Manchester saw its shadow earlier this morning. All right, Wendell, looks like winter's coming back for Friday, that's for sure. Hi, everybody, good morning. Let's take a look at the day. Today, we're good. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the low 40s. We're going to be in a mostly cloudy skies. You might see an interval of sun from time to time. It's going to be milder. Tonight, look at the overnight lows. Good in the low to mid 30s, mainly cloudy, another mild night. And then your seven day forecast includes 45 tomorrow with rain, transitioning over to sleet, freezing rain, and possibly some snow. So the commute on Friday morning looks messy. The commute Friday evening looks messy. And then Saturday and Sunday, Sunday, we're going to wind things down with partly sunny skies, but colder temperatures 26 on Saturday, 31 on Sunday. Have a great day, everyone.